some recently lovely second-hand purchases I've made. Recently a sale of second-hand models was placed on the Facebook Model Railway Trading Group by a gentleman called Adrian Emberton. A number of items caught my eye, so I inquired. I discovered that Adrian had been charged with selling off a family member's collection after they had sadly died. Because of the quality of the items, good packing, prices and very good communications, I have acquired quite a few models. All you see moving here came from the late Malcolm's collection. First up is the stunning Hornby Merchant Navy Holland Africa line. Numbered 35023. Adding to a growing collection of these fine models. She is now at the head of four coaches, two mainline, one Hornby 68 foot dining car and a Backman brake in BR Crimson and Cream or Plums and Custard livery. Let's have a slow close look. Once again Mainline set the bar very high way back in the 70s with some remarkable details such as the first class and smoking stickers on the windows. Then we have the very stunning 68 foot 6 wheel bogey restaurant car. followed by the Backman brake coach, again all very detailed. Let's see the train in action. All the coach wheels are plastic and I've already ordered metal replacements for them. My next purchase was this rather stunning Hornby 8F with Fowler Tender. She runs like a dream, so of course I just had to have some 16 ton mineral wagons as well, and luckily Adrian found me these. but these were not the only wagons I purchased from him. In the background you may see some BR Bauxite 16 ton wagons. These were also purchased, making a grand total of 17 wagons. So here we have a lovely BR freight train of 17 wagons. The only item not from the sale is my brake van.
the wagons are mostly by Backman, but also include some replica ones. There are some interesting wagons among this set. There are two of these coalite wagons, maybe a modernised version of the seven plank wooden ones that we all know. There is also one with the places it's supposed to work between detailed on the sides of the wagon. Let's also have a look at this lovely train running. And I'll ask you, based on one of my other videos, what might be less than ideal about the train consist, and how might it have been done better? So while the trains run I'll share some thoughts. I noticed that all the wheel bearings had been oiled, everything was well kept, and even had stickers on the bottom saying the wagon stop number. I got to thinking then that Malcolm was not so very different from me, having a lot of the same tastes, and I admit it, I felt really sad for the loss of this person and the breaking up of his precious collection. However, Adrian told me that he and a member of his family had seen some of my videos and it brought them comfort to know that the models were being treasured and run. And so they will be. I'll also include a little note in my database saying that these items are from Malcolm's collection. RIP dear fellow model railway friend, I never met you, but your trains will keep running and will indeed be treasured. <laughs>